In this video, we're gonna share seven reasons why you should not get a Chow Chow. Chow Chows originally hail from China. They're a sturdy built dog. They look like little teddy bears at times, but they may not be best for you because they can be stubborn, a little aloof, independent at times, and they may not be great for you and your family. So in this video, we'll share exactly why this dog may not be a fit for you. So let's get started with number one. The number one reason why a chow chow may not be best for you is because they need to be socialized. These dogs are downright suspicious of strangers, but for the right reason, they can be fiercely loyal to their owners. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that they get properly socialized. Take them in the car, get them around other dogs, cats, other people, as much as you possibly can. It'll be important that you do this right away when they're a puppy. And it takes a lot of work to get them around to different places, different people, and different animals. So if you're not up for this, this could be a big problem owning a Chow Chow. But if you can do this, then your Chow Chow is gonna be great. You're gonna be happy with it around other people and other animals and you won't have to worry. Number two reason why a Chow Chow may not be best for you is because they have a tendency to show aggressive behavior. Yes, this dog looks cute and cuddly, but they're an old hunting and guard dog. So it'll be up to you as the owner to be a strong, assertive owner that does the training, does the leadership right. And if you don't, then a chow chow could be a big problem. So this dog needs rules, limitations, and boundaries right from the start. If they get this, they can be an excellent dog and a great dog for you and your family. But if they don't have a firm leader in the household, then the Chow Chow will be the leader and that's big trouble for everybody involved. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that they're trained with strong leadership from the start. Number three reason why a Chow Chow may not be best for you is because they need exercise. If these guys don't get exercise, then they get high anxiety and can be very destructive. But if they do get exercise, they build a bond with you, they get rid of pent up energy, and they become a great dog. So it won't be enough to just let them out in the backyard. They wanna go on walks with you, play fetch. They wanna build the bond with you. And if you're not willing to do this, then a chow chow is just not gonna be best for you. But if you can get them exercise, they'll build a great bond with you, get rid of energy, and be a great dog for you and your family. The number four reason why a chow chow may not be best for you is because they are heavy shedders. These dogs have a beautiful big coat, but that coat can be all over your house. You're gonna have hair all over your furniture, clothes all over you, on your floor. So it's something to be aware of if you're going to get a chow chow. Some people just don't realize how much these dogs shed. So it's something to be aware of because it can be a big pain for you and your family. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you brush them regularly. And if you do that, then shedding won't be too bad, but the shedding's going to be there, but it'll be up to you to make sure that you keep their coat looking nice. If you can do this and you're okay with the shedding, then a Chow Chow's a great dog because you can make them look outstanding with that big furry coat. The number five reason that a Chow Chow may not be best for you is because they're not as teddy bear as they seem. This is a big furry dog and we've been saying it before, but they are aggressive, can be strong willed, can be a little bit stubborn. So they need strong training from you, the owner. If you can give them the strong training and firm leadership that they need, Chow Chows can be great. But the mistake we see a lot of people make is they get this big furry fuzzy dog thinking it's cute and cuddly. When in fact, it can be very ferocious, aggressive and mean. So it'll be up to you as the owner to set the tone and make sure that this dog is on the right track right from the beginning. The number six reason why a Chow Chow may not be best for you is because they can be independent at times. There are some dog breeds like the German Shepherd that never let their owner out of their sights. They follow them everywhere, but not necessarily the Chow Chow. Chow Chows like to do their own thing from time to time. So if you're not looking for this or you want your dog by you, you want your super loyal dog, the Chow Chow may not be that dog. It's not every Chow Chow, but just know that Chow Chows like to be independent, do their own thing, explore, and be away from the family a little bit just to have their own away time. So you'll need to set up a space for them to have their own space because it's something that they really crave. Number seven reason why a Chow Chow may not be best for you is because they can be hard to train. These guys can be stubborn and strong willed, so it can be a difficult challenge to train them. So this is not the best dog for first time owners, but if you've had a dog before, you know what you're doing and you know how to train a dog, then a Chow Chow will be great. 
But if you're really not sure and you think that every dog is cute and cuddly, just know that the Chow Chow is difficult to train and could take repetition after repetition and could be a dog that you have to train forever and ever. So it's something to be aware of, but if you can do all these things that we mentioned in this video, a Chow Chow is an excellent choice for a dog. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Chow Chow, and we'll see you on the next one.